and welcome to a special edition of the Smoking Den. In the yellow and black corner, from Honduras, it's the Hoya de Monterrey Excalibur. And in the red and white corner, from Cuba, it's the Hoya de Monterrey Selection Pyramid. Ring the bell. It's time to uh, crown a champ. It's time for War of the Worlds. And since I've got a couple Cubans in, I figured, why not make the first Hoyo review a double review? The Honduran is the classic Excalibur. It's a, um, let's see, 6.25 with a 48 inch ring gauge. I think it's called the number two. It's a Maduro wrapper. Uh, it's made in Honduras, but it has long filler from Honduras, Dominican Republic, and Nicaragua. Uh, this is probably, if you smoke Hoya de Monterey's, this is probably the one you know. This is the Excalibur. It's very famous. Um, I haven't had one in a long time, but I'll tell you what. I do like them. I do like them quite a bit. Uh, this wrapper, it's, uh, it's just gorgeous. It looks rustic, but it feels very smooth. A um, little bit uh, pimply, but it's just a, it's a handsome, handsome wrapper. And I want you to check something out. This is the cellophane it came in. And I just bought this from the store yesterday. This thing is so yellow, I it's it must have between five and seven years of age in it. That's my guess. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. So normally, you know, I would sort of you know favor the Cuban in this matchup, but with this age on it, I don't know. Now the Cuban. It's also a very handsome, it's a little bit splotchy, but it's a golden brown wrapper. I can promise you this is an authentic Cuban. I've checked out the band. It's not a counterfeit. Um, it's a 52 inch ring gauge with 6.1 inches of length. Um, all Cuban Puro. Now I have to say, I have not smoked this particular Hoya de Monterrey line. I had their 2001 special edition. In fact, I had several of them when they had about nine years of age on them, and I actually was not that impressed. So uh, I'm looking to see uh, what this matchup will bring. I am actually going to spark up the Honduran first. So let's toast her up. Very dense first impression. A lot of heavy earth, heavy nuanced coffee bean. Fairly full bodied. Just a hint of wood, toasted woodsy notes coming in the top. And just a hint of what I suspect will be leather that will uh, that should, if I'm right, uh, develop for the finish. Almost like a little bit of an airy nut feel in the back palate. But let's let that rest for a second. And let's uh, toast up this Cuban here. off the bat it's got as expected that that deep deep Cuban feel to the flavors
chocolate and toasted nut. But it's deep and it's round. The, the way that it comes across is, is very, it's, it's dominant and it's subtle at the same time. I'm also getting that sort of nutty woodsy flavor in the top palate of the cute one that I'm getting from the Andorran. Interesting. Maybe they're brother, I think that I know they're brothers from another mother, but I'm wondering if maybe they were the brothers from the same mother. Also has that, like I said, a woodsy nutty flavor with earth to it. But compared to the Cuban, there's just a slight metallic tang in the back palate. It's got depth, but it has this little bit of airiness in lieu of the, the really, the really um, dense flavor of. There's a little bit of a sweetness too to the Cuban. One more puff off of this. Mm. It's that, yeah, there's some cream starting to develop in this. Some woodsy notes, the cream notes. of almost like an oily floral flavor coming in in the uh, front palate too. A lot of a lot of depth and tons of nuance. Just so much going on in the Cuban. It's not leather in the finish, it's earth. Earth in the finish. It's funny because the, the flavors are dense, but it has this airy quality to it, which is sort of strange. Um, it definitely tastes like a less expensive cigar than the Cuban. I will say that much. Um, in any case, I got a few inches left to smoke on both of these. So we'll be back in a couple of seconds on YouTube screen with the and verdicts. And we're back with the uh, two verdicts on these Hoyo de Monterey's. And uh, I'd like to say that this was a punch-by-punch sort of swap that went on, sort of like the end of uh, Rocky One, but these two really sort of play in different ballparks. One is sort of a middle heavyweight, and the other one is a uh, more of a welterweight. So we'll start with the welterweight, the Cuban. Um, typical gray Cuban ash, perfect draw. I've had to touch it up a couple times, and there's just a teensy bit of flaking here towards the end on the wrapper. Um, It sure is a beautiful smoking cigar, though. Um, I was really rooting around for a lot of different flavors in the beginning, and that's complexity sort of died off after the first inch, inch and a half. And it's a pretty straightforward cigar. A lot of sort of very bread, cream flavors that just dominate all parts of the palate. Um, slightly short finish. Uh, it started off mild to medium and now it's uh, very much a mild cigar. I find myself liking this cigar quite a bit. I wish there was a little more complexity. I never felt totally immersed by it, but it still is a really an, an excellent cigar. So let's move on to the Honduran. The Excalibur is uh, medium to full bodied. Uh, no problems with the burn, no problems with the uh, 
uh, with the draw and the ashes, beautiful blocks of, of white ribbed, white and gray ribbed ash. Um, fortunately, that sort of flinty twang that I was getting in the uh, very beginning uh, really died off completely. Uh, now I'm just getting a very, uh, very handsome core of rustic woodsy and earthy flavors. And there's a little bit of coffee too coming in the top palette. Um, it's it's nice. It's it's very nice. And also I got this Excalibur for six dollars, which uh, I think is a, a pretty good bargain for what you're getting on this. And uh, also I just I just wish that you could find a way to Monterey's and more stores. They're starting to become a little less common and not huge sellers according to the proprietors that I've talked to. I'm giving the uh, Honduran a 7.5 out of 10, a very good score, and I highly recommend it. If you're stateside and you find the next caliber and you've never tried one, put it on your grocery list. I'm going to give the Cuban an 8.5. It's the winner. It's the winner. You could even call it a winner by knockout. Um, and if you love mild cigars and you're not stateside, this is definitely a must-try for you. It's a wonderful cigar. Love that. In any case, that's the War of the Worlds. If this is your first time to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, that button right there. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Or hit the dislike button. And tell your friends, you know, the more subscribers we get, the more viewers we get, the longer we can keep doing this for you. And feel free to leave a comment. In any case, keep smoking whatever you're smoking. We'll see you around for the next review.